it's about the whole exercise of planning. It's not the, who, who said that? It's not the plans themselves. It's the it's planning. The fact that it, yeah, it is the planning. It's the fact that you, you know, it's what you normally do. So you bring together a, bring together a team um, and, you, and you plan your way out of it. And they, they because they do that, um, you know, they are the meerkats rather than the hamsters. You know, they're, they're, they're always looking up. They're always, it's why they stay ahead of the game. Um, you know, the, there are lots of people who make better, better burgers than McDonald's. I, I think that's fair to say. And regardless of what you think of their food, you know, they, they just, they stay ahead of their competitors all the time. It doesn't matter who comes along, it doesn't matter how, how good they are at what they do. Because McDonald's is constantly looking to innovate, constantly looking to, to improve, it makes them incredibly resilient. So, so that's the, the first thing is absolutely is planning. Trust for me comes from hiring the people in the first place who share your values, giving them good training, you know, like really solid training that's not, oh, why can't they get it right? You know, I showed, I showed her that two weeks ago sort of training. What did I showed her two weeks ago look like? Was it, I sat down with her, I took her through a very clear, you know, how to of, of the role of the task. Um, I, I sat and let her ask questions, let her practice. Then I walked away knowing that she could do the job. Was that what you did two weeks ago? Or did you go, right, you did this, this, this. okay, got it, right. And we, and, and off. And trust comes from right people, right training, and then good feedback. There is one right way to do everything in a McDonald's. And it, people often say, oh yeah, but that's, you know, that's flipping burgers and, you know, shoveling chips. Yes, it is. But there's actually one right way all the way through the business in McDonald's. It's not just in the restaurants. It's at every level, in every area of the business. Um, and it and it it makes such a difference. You know, when, when with our clients, when we're um, we're getting them to to create how to how to guides, and we say, right, you need to first of all decide what that one right way is, and then you need to create a how to guide. And we're going to make it easy for you because you create a how to video rather than typing up step one, step two, step three. So everybody thinks they've got to have a manual. Everybody thinks, oh, I've got to give people a book that they can look, at, look up. But that's not how we, that's not how we learn these days. Um, you know, we, we watch videos. I know I go to, to Google and YouTube when I want to learn something new. Um, and the more we can show people, the more they've got the opportunity to pause, rewind, repeat. Pause. What exactly did she put? It's just, so, it makes life so much easier. We need to, we need to remember who we are and what, what made us, what has made us successful so far, what it is, what it is about us as individuals that people buy into and love and, and want to be, want to be around, want to be part of and not try and copy somebody else. I, I've never, and you know, I, I do believe in modeling really good elements of what other people do and, um, and looking at what somebody does and thinking, how can I make what they're doing work within my business and within my framework? But it has to be, and Craig, you don't get me wrong, I have, I have done my fair share of, oh, that looks, oh, maybe I should, um, I've done my fair share of that in, in the past, but I recognize now that if you stay completely true to yourself and to your business, your customers know where they're at and they trust you which sort of loops back to the, um, what I was saying about the, the BSE and the, the, the mad cow, that when you take a leadership position and you are absolutely, this is who we are, this is what we do, your customers trust that, they know where they're at. Your team absolutely know where they're at um, because that's what they bought into in the first place. They bought into, they bought into you and your values and they share your values and they're enthused by where you're going with, with your business. 
Um, so they, they've fully bought into that. If you start wavering and trying to be like other people, your team lose trust in you as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, obviously in terms of profile, the more consistent you can be in everything, the more consistent you can be in your, in your delivery, in your, how you present yourself and what you talk about, people can just, yeah, right. That's, that's the leader I want to follow or not, you know. What have you learned about yourself in a crisis that if another one comes along, please God, it won't be another pandemic, but a financial crisis maybe. Um, if something comes along, what can you recognize in yourself? You know, like, like I, I, for me, it was that two days of, oh my God, oh my God, the sky is falling. If you recognize that and go, right, Two days, I'm going to be like that. So I'd, no decisions for two days <laughs> when a crisis hits. No decisions. Wait until you've allowed the dust in your mind to settle, then start making decisions. Um, and I, you know, I've recognised that in myself. And I think other people will have responded in different when it, have responded in different ways. So just recognise that about yourself, so that it doesn't concern you when when the next crisis because. You know, another crisis will hit at some point. We are business owners. Um, you know, so what? You know, how can you how can you use that to um, to make it better next time?